Cancer cachexia is a major problem for people uh, across the spectrum of cancer, often at presentation and certainly in late stage disease. Although we associate it with anorexia, to date all we can offer symptomatically uh, is either treating the underlying disease or offering support with anorexia. There are, however, phase three studies of novel agents that are demonstrating effect on cachexia, that is on lean body mass, on muscle, uh, and also on fat mass. Uh, at least one of these agents is also able to demonstrate that it improves uh, appetite at the same time. So to be able to improve lean body mass, fat mass uh, and appetite simultaneously is an enormous step forward for us, uh, independent of what we're doing to, to the cancer. It suggests that there are new avenues for us into the future um, we've had a really interesting natural experiment in that two of the studies are in slightly different populations, one with a slightly better uh, performance status and one with a slightly more advanced disease profile. Um, it appears that if we use these agents earlier, uh, ghrelin agonists, uh, selective androgen receptor modulators, uh, we can influence uh, one of the final common pathways that affects so many people with advanced cancer. So, uh, of the two classes of drugs, uh, one of them is a ghrelin agonist, and ghrelin was, was only described within the last 20 years, so to have a, a drug already uh, uh, having completed phase three studies is extraordinary. Uh, it switches on appetite, but it clearly uh, has many metabolic effects. So, if anything, it, uh, it helps lay down uh, muscle and fat uh, in both healthy volunteers, uh, sorry, um, it helps lay down uh, muscle and fat in people with cachexia, uh, as well as improve their appetite.